Looking now at a rotational transverse plane motion, we're going to start with a weight transference or weight shift. Pelvis will rotate in, it's essential to get internal rotation of the hip here. And then we're going to transfer onto the other side. And again, we can make it quite rapid if we want to. This is going to be in combined with my version of a golf swing. So we're holding both handles, loading, come down and up. Back again, load, down and up. Again, just note the spine still moves nice and long. I'm not flexing and coming up or extending too much. And I'm getting this nice stretch to shorten to stretch again. All with the ankle tether. When using the tether, the chop is going to come on more of a level transverse plane, but we can then vary low, medium to high. So I'm going to be coming in, chopping down, returning. I can also add in here more of a dynamic foot motion. So pulling down, medium and high. Now it does actually make a difference which hand you have in first. So if I have this hand in first, I'm going to be pulling more. If I have this hand in first, I'm going to be pushing more. So maybe have a think when you're doing this, what does my client need more? Do they need more push-based activities or pull? And you can monitor that with whichever hand goes within the straps first. 